A loser television news. Diamond Reynolds' use of Facebook Live to share the death of her fiance, Philando Castile, is another bellwether in the demise of live television news, or more broadly, broadcast TV news. This is probably one of the most disturbing videos you're ever going to see. In the first week, six million people watched the video, the same size audience that watches CBS Evening News on a typical night. The two remaining strongholds of television have been live news and live sports, and live news is no longer a point of differentiation for television. And finally this year, we are going to see a deep-pocketed social media platform buy the rights to the Olympics, March Madness, or the Super Bowl. Television is about to get its turn at the woodshed. Who's winning with respect to Airbnb listings? Paris, which is home to 78,000 of the platform's 2 million plus listings. In advance of this year's Olympic Games, Rio's inventory has increased, but still trails London and New York. Ever try to grab a cab from your 800 euro a night closet called a hotel room? Paris has literally set itself up to launch companies and value propositions that make this city more livable. And Uber and Airbnb are just two examples of this. Rates in the top five U.S. cities hover around 25% less than hotels, but in L.A., that number is only 5%, and in Austin, you're better off booking a hotel than an Airbnb room. A winner of coupons. What's old as new, young shoppers are bringing couponing back. Nine in 10 millennials use coupons. By the way, I am just so sick of hearing about millennials. You guys have it so easy. You just tap on your phone to get a date. Back in my day, I used to have to go to a bad restaurant, order a lot of appetizers, and bring a shit ton of cocaine. That's how, that's how you used to roll in the 80s. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Coupon apps dominate. Branded apps and popularity, according to our digital IQ index, Home Care. It's better to establish a presence on a coupon app than develop your own app. Millennials are still more likely, despite all their digital skills, to use coupons received in the mail. A winner, the fifth most popular social app in the world that you probably haven't heard of. Qzone, created by Tencent in 2005, lets users send photos, virtual gifts, listen to music, watch videos, and keep diaries. With 650 million monthly active users, Qzone is as popular as Tencent's WeChat and has twice the user base of Twitter and Snapchat. The platform is particularly popular among Chinese millennials, with one-third of Qzone users born after 1995. There we go again with the millennials. What is a millennial? Someone I hate. A winner in our view, millennials. This week we did a podcast with Barry Ritholtz on masters in business, and we got a lot of controversy, or created a lot of controversy, for saying that millennials were the most talented generation to date, and we stand by that statement. They're the most digitally competent generation, and they're the most educated. The reason we can't hire enough millennials, and we can't, is because they're better than any previous generation. They're more talented, they're better educated, and they grew up. They actually get this digital stuff. We'll see you next week. I hate you, I love you, I hate that I love you, don't want to, but I can't put nobody else. Above you, I hate you, I love you.